A number of people have asked me to uh, do a podcast on uh, Tommy Robinson, the case of Tommy Robinson. Now, I've done a lot of podcasts uh, in, uh, in the last uh, six months on the principles of English law, which I regard as being extremely important, uh, which are being circumnavigated uh, almost on now on a weekly basis. Now, most of the principles of English law are governed by statute, but there are a couple which are governed by tradition. One is the great uh, comment that was made in the 1930s, uh, that law should be that which is deemed to be fair. Deemed to be fair by the man on the Clapham omnibus. Deemed to be fair. Natural justice, if you will. And, of course... The other one is, not only must justice be done, justice must be seen to be done. Now, the thing that makes me worried about this Tommy Robinson business, and I've never met the fellow, and I don't know anything about the case, but that's the point. It appears he's been sent to prison for 13 months, and I don't know anything about the case. I don't know what the legal implications are. I don't know what the offence was. I don't know anything about it at all. All I know is what I've seen on social media. And it didn't look to me like he'd done anything wrong. But I don't know. I don't know. And neither do you. So what I'm suggesting is, what is really, really wrong is the judge actually closing down any press comment on this. So the country doesn't know whether Tommy Robinson deserves to go to prison or not. We don't know. How can we make our own judgment on whether justice has been seen to be done? or whether natural justice has been done. And moreover, there is a caveat, is there not, that we have had one man sent to prison for putting a piece of bacon outside a mosque. Uh, He was given a year's sentence. It was only about three weeks before he was murdered. Uh, And another one came a little bit after that, and it was only about a week before he was attacked. Now, what bothers me is, I think we all know, and a lot of my friends in the poli- in the, both the police and the prison service tell me that there are some prisons which are run by the inmates, a significant number of whom are natural enemies of Tommy Robinson, uh, whether indeed he is safe or not. And I suspect that he isn't. All these things we don't know, all these things as citizens in a free society, we should be able to make our own judgments on. But we can't because they've closed down any press freedom on this. I'm 68 years old, you know. I'm just wondering where this country's going. I'm honestly wondering where this country's going, because it seems to me we're going back to sort of the East Germany of the Soviet Union. Uh, No freedom of speech, uh, no freedom at all for the ordinary citizen to express his views, whether they be right, wrong or indifferent, it doesn't matter. That's the whole point of free speech, that we can say what we like, when we like, as long as we're not actually hurting anybody else, in the spirit of John Stuart Mill, for example. So this Tommy Robinson thing makes me deeply uneasy, and I think it makes us all deeply uneasy. Uh, And I think when we start losing faith in the judicial system, it's the thin end of the wedge, and it's the end of a civilised society as we know it. I hope I don't go to prison for actually making this observation. Maybe I will. Who knows?